Michael B. Jordan is officially off the market. Yes, yet another one of the world's most eligible bachelors has apparently vanished into thin air after the Black Panther superstar fell in love with the adopted daughter of comedian Steve Harvey, Lori Harvey. While both Michael and Lori seem to have their own impressive cribs, it's no doubt they are spending more and more time together as their relationship progresses. In this video, we'll take a look at where the star couple calls home in Los Angeles. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. After actor Michael B. Jordan was crowned people's sexiest man alive last November, Michael and Lori Harvey began dating. Only a few days later, the rumors began swirling that Michael had finally found his dream girl after he and Lori were spotted exiting a plane together at the Atlanta airport. For those of you who don't know much about Lori, she was adopted by Steve Harvey in 2007 after he had married Lori's mother, Marjorie Bridges. Lori has been modeling since the age of three and at one point was planning to become an equestrian athlete, but her dreams were sadly crushed after a training accident. Not only did Lori and Michael appear to be madly in love, but they both moved out of their parents' homes late in life, and I do mean late. After Lori vacated her parents' home, she picked herself up a gorgeous bachelorette pad in Los Angeles in the early stages of 2020. Meanwhile, Michael also moved out of his parents' place around the same time, but it should probably be mentioned that Michael had purchased the home for them in 2015. And when Michael was finally ready to lay claim to his own place, he spared no expense, picking himself up an $8 million masterpiece. With a net worth of over $25 million, Michael can no doubt afford a couple of pricey pads. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. And today we're seeing where Michael B. Jordan and Lori Harvey call home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Back in August of 2015, Michael B. Jordan bought his very first home, a $1.7 million property in Los Angeles' Sherman Oaks neighborhood. This mini mansion consists of 4,627 square feet of space and features four bedrooms, four and a half baths, 18 foot ceilings, alongside European oak wood floors, and top of the line kitchen with all the necessary top end appliances. Out front, Michael's got a cute little patch of grass located behind a massive gate. And in his backyard, there's a fantastic pool and patio combo that's perfect for family style cookouts. During his 2020 appearance on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, Jordan explained that after sharing that home with his parents for close to five years, they developed an awkward roommate relationship. I mean, when the world's sexiest man alive is living under the same roof as his parents at the age of 30, how could that be avoidable, really? After what I can only imagine were a couple uncomfortable conversations, Michael decided to move out and found himself a new home about 20 minutes down the road from his parents' place. Because there's just no way he's missing Sunday dinner with his folks. In the early stages of 2020, Michael threw down $5.8 million on a Hollywood Hills hideaway that was previously owned by Daisy Fuentes. Unlike with his parents' place, Michael has been very hesitant to show off any part of his new home. My best guess is that it's probably because he was super excited to finally be living the true Hollywood bachelor lifestyle in a house that's no doubt made for such experiences. Jordan's estate sits on an acre of land that's walled and gated for some extreme privacy. In fact, between the wall and all of the surrounding trees, let's just say good luck seeing into the place. Built in 1997, this modern style home has around 4,500 square feet of living space with three bedrooms, each with their own ensuite bathroom, and an accompanying balcony that runs the length of the home looking down into the backyard. The majority of the home is full of natural light that floods in from the ceiling to floor windows and doors, and Michael has reportedly furnished his interior with modern furniture set in neutral tones. The main floor consists of an open floor plan that features a living room, a dining room, and kitchen, all intermingled with one another. Through some nearby sliding glass doors, you can step out into the backyard, where Jordan no doubt keeps in buff shape by swimming laps in his mega pool. I can only imagine how much fun Jordan has out there, especially whenever Lori comes to stay. Speaking of Lori, let's move on to her bachelorette pad next. 
Much like Jordan, Lori is a proud owner of a new home as well. After she moved out of her stepdad's place, she scooped herself up a luxurious rental pad in Beverly Hills and took to Instagram soon after to share her first housewarming gift with the world. Reports online suggest that the home Lori moved into is a massive one. I'm talking over 9,500 square feet of space with seven bedrooms and nearly a dozen bathrooms at the expense of around $80,000 a month. But hey, at least you get some truly spectacular rooms and views for that expense. The front foyer is a true statement piece with a staircase crafted out of wood and glass and a truly spectacular chandelier that honestly looks far more like an art piece that should be installed in the nearby Museum of Dream Space in Beverly Hills. Seriously, these things look similar, right? All that and I didn't even mention the massive nearly full wall mirror that rests at the foot of the stairs and provides some interesting perspectives. Then there's a living room that's jam packed with some truly classy furniture. I'm talking leather couches, low hanging chandeliers, a built in glass fireplace and gorgeous dark walls. A stone's throw away is a games room that features a full service poker table offset by some eye popping colorful artwork and a built in home entertainment system. Meanwhile, Lori's kitchen is more or less the opposite of the other rooms in her home. Here, there's more of a cream and beige color scheme alongside nearly invisible storage space and a massive wooden island. Upstairs is Lori's sprawling bedroom which features the same hardwood floors that run throughout the rest of the home as well as what's probably the most comfortable bed in the world. Let's not forget those amazing views either. Finally, out back, Lori not only has one of the prettiest infinity edge pools I've ever seen, she's even got a fully stocked bar that looks better than 90% of the average pubs out there. In other words, Lori's home is a true dream estate. Maybe that's why when choosing a place to spend this recent Thanksgiving holiday, Michael and Lori selected her home. Not only does it look like these two filled up on all the mac and cheese, cornbread, turkey, salmon, potatoes and spaghetti they could handle, they also look like they're madly in love with one another. All right, well that wraps up our Lori Harvey and Michael B. Jordan house tour. We saw the stars' respective Los Angeles homes and we can only wonder how long it'll take for the couple to move in with one another. Officially, that is. Which house do you think they'll choose? I mean, Michael actually owns his mansion, so that would make the most sense, but Lori's dream house is pretty hard to compete with, not to mention it's more than double the size. Be sure to let me know what you liked or didn't like about Michael and Lori's mansions down in that comment section. DM me over on Instagram and let me know which celebrity houses we should take a peek at next. I'll see you all in another video. Bye!